Hello Blunder folks, welcome and welcome back. I'm Xenomes and this is live streaming on uh, No C character for uh, a 3D animation project on YouTube and I'm the character is named Dorothy, you know if you uh, have been following my work here. And let's start with some soundtrack here. Synthwave. All right, folks. So in this series here, okay, here's the rigged character, rigged model, and uh, I want to address cloths, cloth making, costume making, and this involves plenty of stuff because in one hand there is the modeling. I have already modeled most clothes of this character's costume, but they need a real rig, and even more than that, they need uh, also UV texture, but they need some remodeling because um, there has been changes, and also. There has been um, for a long time a lack of originality in the model sheet related to the clothes, the costume. Basically, uh, this is a sci fi project, so Dorothy's costume, sci-fi, is a costume, is something that I have some vision here, but I never modeled this properly uh, in a way that would like be satisfying from model alone, but here it is some, let's see. Um, Okay, my blender crashed, uh, probably because of grease pencil. Uh, sorry, let's go back. All right, crashed for no reason, no apparent reason, uh, as not usual. Uh, anyways, uh, yes, I can hide the armature for now. Let's uh, keep saving this for a while, for uh, regularly as we try to. So this is the previously modeled modeled clothes. The I have been improving the boots, the leggings, the gloves, and the skirt. But a lot of things are not well developed yet. Uh, like the sleeves has not have are too simplistic. This thing is very old also. Uh, this is also very old, the shirt. Um, the skirt needs some rework. So everything needs some sort of rework. And now I have better modeling skills. And so, yes, the boots were in the last, were some of the last things I have reworked. But even when I reworked, I wasn't using the good, uh, model sheet reference like I wasn't really compared I, I was like okay so here we want the model sheet for front view and side okay and so we can compare now what's going on All right, I hope this this time it doesn't crash randomly. So here, okay. Okay, so uh, it's grease pencil is crashing this thing. Um, as, I, as soon as I select, this is unusual. Um, na yeah, something is very wrong about Uh, 
Okay, it seems to have crashed when I select this on wireframe. Viewport shading wireframe, yeah. <laughs> no, well, it's not crashing right now. All right, so anyways, we can see um, how the, the cloth in 2D design okay now it's not crashing okay that's good so strangely enough so good good okay so here we are able to see what these clothes will be stylish enough the the skirt the even that in 2d it looks really good um, yeah, the, here's an old model sheet in relation to this t pose here, and this is not even u very useful because the model's rest position is this one, even for the arms and legs. So I need to model the clothes on this rest position. So um, this character design is old, as you can see, and but the idea is there. So what does that mean is that if I want to be accurate, really accurate, I would need to, if I want to remain, retain these rest positions and I want, because this is good for the form rig. So uh, this is a strategy. It's not that it needs to be done that way, but this is part of my rigging strategy to have better deforms with less, uh, trouble in making corrective methods so um, drinking some beer here uh, so um, here let's get yeah so I have two choices here basically Either I want to remodel this like with just visual reference of what is the model sheet here, like uh, just getting some basic reference from that. Yeah, this the the um, yeah the boots here we see they are very different from the what I ended up doing. So maybe I want to adapt that at this point because the boots here yeah they've changed uh, this is uh, an old character design so I, i'm considering it doesn't mean that i need to delete these boots entirely i can sort of rework that yes so i want to be most of all i want to improve the design right so i have already this there's a cloak that I never modeled, so I think I, it will be a good opportunity to do that too. And so, let's see. Okay. Okay, so the leggings are very simple, but modeling these shapes is not necessarily easy, although it could be solved with texture. Uh, I'm really... I, this is the part where I bug, <laughs> I bug out. I mean, this is the part that I need more uh, experience in making characters and clothes in Blender. Uh, I always, I don't, when do I use modeling? And also because I don't have much sculpting experience, 3D sculpting, so I rely mostly on modeling. I never know when should I use model, when should I use texture, so um basically my strategy here will be something like well for the major shapes that are uh, details i would like perhaps this would be a mesh thing as this and for minimal details like something that may be inside of that i'll try to rely on texture and this can be somewhat confusing uh especially confusing for me because of my lack of experience in in making this model so uh this is really a conceptual struggle for me but we'll get we'll try 
okay it didn't crash so we'll we'll see uh how we can deal with that in this stra uh, plane strategy so the first thing now is that okay i need to i have this thing here i need to model this so for the leggings this is the easiest thing i'm gonna do maybe i do also the sleeves all right we can do leggings and, and sleeves because they are pretty similar the patterns here so there's this pointy thing here on the side and here's on the side too will be here's on the side but here's done like the side too but it's actually on the top of the arm and here's like not on the top of the leg it's like on the side of the leg but when we see the character from front it will be at the side all right and then the rest is just uh yeah leggings and maybe i don't even need the mesh on the foot uh and I know in the sleeves I don't even have this mesh going on the hand so there's something there that is irregular but that's fine uh, probably she, if she takes off the boots I imagine that will be still cool to have the sleeves like how do you say like uh, the sleeves no the leggings like they were uh, how do you how do you call the, the sockets right so there's a lot of long sockets right so uh and for the hand i'm not sure that is even yeah uh, just leaves like that so let's start working on reworking right on this stuff so we'll approach that by going on the object stuff I don't need the armature for that, so we'll need the clothes, uh, cloth, uh, except that I just want to work on the leggings and sleeves. Okay, so even the colors are wrong here. Probably I prefer this color here. This looks like too medical. <laughs> it's not really good for this character, I think. So all these meshes, it even had some sort of texture work artwork uh which was pretty cool but i'm not gonna lose the texture the texture map i mean but uh, yeah i'm gonna remake all the there's even seams there so yes because i've made changes to the to the mesh i'm, I'm gonna say goodbye to these things <laughs> this looks a terrible choice right but uh, for me this i have time to work on this and i want totally to improve this stuff and i've made changes to the to the legs mesh recently so we need to rework that the texture map though i'll try to reuse whatever i have there when i go on the texture map color map right when i go on the color map thing it's it called color map folks it's the um, face maps, no, um, UV maps, yeah. So, okay, so we're gonna remake the whole thing. It's it's pretty simple, right? Uh, so it's just this, then a duplicate, then selection, uh, separate by selection. Now I have these sleeves here. They have exactly the same, yeah, they have a lot of, object modifiers i don't need anything like that only the subdivision oh uh, hold on mask boots is important all right but this mask boots is just some uh, vertex group that when she's wearing boots the the leggings just uh, vanish the mesh there you see something like that uh, so for now this is cool but i'll totally need to change this uh, this mesh material here so i don't have right now uh, good 
colors for that so shaders uh, let's delete everything and add some sort of uh, leather yes I have this so let's assign here right and of course this is exactly the same so what I need to do here is uh, Alright, uh, actually I forgot something. I need to join this object, separated new one, to the original leggings which already has got these uh, proper object modifiers like a solidify modifier and uh, subdivision armature, yeah whatever. So of course the mesh is wrong but uh, yes there in the top it looks very bad but it's um, concerning the deforms if we try to check here it is is deforming more or less aligned right so we just need to so you see there's no much interpenetrations it's nearly working very smooth smoothly so what i need to do is to adjust the I think it even has got shape keys for the let's save again uh, it, it has even shape keys for the pelvis uh, this is not necessarily required uh, the, unless this corrective shape key is right uh, when the leg bends, at least I have one for the back bending. Uh, maybe this doesn't need for the th uh, the leggings because they won't go that far away. But I'll keep it just for now. So let's try to improve this uh, mesh uh, geometry here. Start by deleting these face loops. Here we can see where the boots uh, vertex group enters into play. Yeah, it uh, maybe I'll have to change this threshold here. Um, otherwise, you can ch just change the vertex group. But yeah, for now, this let's uh, ignore this. And um, so now it's when I well because the re the rest pose is. A T pose, sort of. Yeah, the rest pose is a T pose. The rest position is not a T pose. This is the rest position for the body. This is the rest position for the leg, new leggings. This is the. Okay. So I also need to do the same for this. I don't remember if I have made if I did make change to the for the sleeves but we're gonna anyways we're gonna do it again um, this will be simpler perhaps I just no that's not very simple so let's grow from here yeah I want to make sure you select everything there okay it seems to be all selected then this this anything else for the sleeves maybe another this extra face loop here and for that part this is already good enough so shift D P then get out of object mode this is the yeah this is the this thing and then I need to go here and select this with control left mouse button click uh, it's the active now and I joined and so now I got in this object so here no oh, uh, I did the wrong joining it is uh, not leggings it is okay it's still wrong I need more control Z apparently okay body here and sleeves join on the sleeve so the sleeves is the active object now it it consumed the other 
the extra mesh object. Uh, we gonna see for the materials here. Let's use this letter again. And here probably I want to yeah already delete this face loop faces here. Here is fine. It'll keep this one. All right. So now we have these new meshes to work. One thing I could do that could be nice if that have some fancy developments here, but she like an alternative when she's not wearing gloves. But this is just extra details, right? So I'm not. Uh, we'll go for the straight bases here. And we can always build these things later. So, um, here is where the adventure starts. I'm gonna save here. And we want to start working on the model sheet. Oh, uh, crashed. So, alright. <laughs> so, apparently. <clears throat> This is annoying, it's probably some grease pencil problem. Uh, as soon as I <laughs> select that, I cannot select it. The problem is I want to highlight it. Okay, what if I select it from... Okay, it crashed on wireframe and on solid, so it's not a matter of this. Let's try to select it from here. Now it's crashing on selection. Hmm. All right. So I've even simplified this thing. So it's really could be lack of uh, lack of memory, maybe because there's the I'm streaming. There are music playing. I'm using Blender. So yeah. It's heavy, it, but it's not too heavy. My file had 30 megabytes before, and uh, with the simply applying simplifying ob uh, object modifiers to the all the grease pencils, my file dropped to 8 megabytes. So like uh, four times, nearly four times less memory but still crashes on grid pencil. Okay, so this means I'll have to try to to do this from, okay, now it's not selectable, so there's no risk of crashing. <laughs> so, uh, but I can still see it, right? This is not a very great way to see the thing, right? Yeah, I, ha I was having trouble to visualize it. Um, what we can do is just hide the body, hide everything, right? Okay, so we see here the pattern, it's just this that I need to remodel here. Oh, we see, this is very, very far away, right? The model sheet in the drawing goes even below, so... Yeah, probably I need to rework this. So, basically here we probably will we'll bring this down um, what is happening here why I can't why it's so hard to move this down uh, I'm not sure it's resisting um, what about this no all right I don't have proportional editing it's just Alright, instead let's... Do I have a new option here on? No. Okay, the problem is that this will destroy these waves there, but that's okay because we've made new waves here. Uh, corrupted mesh. Oh yeah, so apparently there's some sort of corrupted mesh going on. Uh, maybe oh this is a uh, I remember this is vertex groups yeah I need to get rid of the no, sorry not vertex this is some crazy thing going on about the shape keys so I didn't want shape keys to start with so this is 
let's also get rid of that for the sleeves here um, why I can't delete this here all right so not not corrupted mesh <laughs> I was wrong yeah it's just that we need uh, uh, this windows 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 the software the the windows from windows these are the things that are not very efficient for me right now okay so no corrupt corrupted mesh it was just some uh, misuse of the uh, shake keys but I'm got I've got used to that so now I know what things that can go wrong so now what I probably need is uh, I'm gonna work a bit like I've as if I was if as if I were working with um, as if I were were doing um, ah this still allows me to select the body yeah so this is something inconsistent interesting what's happening here okay although this is not selectable all right uh, so this doesn't work to protect uh, my intention were to see oh I know how to solve this sorry folks uh, here uh, we'll use the rest position aha uh, this means that I'm using the data properties tab uh, for the armature of course where's that skeleton yeah rest position this is a, that I have a shortcut for for this radio button and so uh, what I want is to start to working always always be on rest position here so okay I see my model shit there even though it's not matching that's okay for the I can model through the reference here this is very simple right so it's not no big deal for me well I hope it is not <laughs> so we're gonna have here a snap tool and face project and this is where we need to be a bit uh, precise right all right uh, so I think the leg is something like here oh, I don't see where the skirt start but I think according to my understanding the skirt is a short skirt it would go somewhere like here so yeah this is a good position for this thing already so we need to change this uh, this mesh topology here so yeah we have to deal with that and it's already snapping but I snap to include non-edited so this will be snapping to the leg mesh and so here um, we need to start working on that mesh here uh, I'm not gonna delete the I'm not gonna merge here into a trigon although it could be relevant uh, I need to consider how to solve these things so probably um, what's happening there looks like oh some problems happened as I made some subdivision I guess it's all snapped yeah okay so apparently it snapped when I was making the subdivision so no big deal let's do it again so here we're gonna just do this oh maybe it's proportional editing no I don't have it so this is all right so you see that strange behavior something strange was happening don't uh, bother about these interpenetrations this is just uh, something that happens on edit mode the solidify modifier will solve solve that 
uh, don't need a shrink wrap uh, modifier to solve this. Solidify. The cool thing is that for this mask modifier, I can reuse the same mesh that I extracted, duplicated, and separated from the body, because it all it also has got this feature. Mask boots. So um, as I copy, so the foot the feet can mesh can disappear when she is wearing the boots. So this can uh, help avoid the interpenetrations just in case they would, would occur. Usually they don't occur. The boots are too big for this character, but this is a, I I have the feature, and so this thing with the vertex group gets also the same for the. Yeah, so it just reuse, I think, the the same stuff, right? So that's a practical. Even even if data is coming from the body mesh object, uh, it, it's just reused here. All right. So what I need now is to. It is also possible that all these data here are sort of old and that I need to re-rig this, uh, but I'm not gonna do it now, so I just want to continue adjusting the mesh, right. Alright, so let's continue this, uh, I want probably this. Subdivisions here, we see where it bugs out. Uh, we don't want to be looking at the armature, also. Okay, now it no, it's still it's the snapping thing, right? We cannot do this subdivision with snapping tool on. Okay, so it should be something like that. Now we can use re enable the snapping, or it could just snap with control. But then I prefer to keep this on, uh, it's easier for most of the case. Okay, everything seems to be working. Uh, so now let's see. According to the character design that I have, it is on the side. Okay, this shift, this angular triangular shape is on the side that's fine then we have this other triangular shape there uh, this is arguable arguably something that could be solved through yeah through instead of mesh topology here this is where i start to bug out <laughs> but i have an idea i'm gonna inset this and yeah, I think this is a clever idea. Or maybe not, but <laughs> we're gonna extrude this, not extrude, but just move out. Yeah, maybe this needs to be there. Okay, we need snapping here. Uh, of course, all this, this is incorrect. The in face is to be something like that. And so here, that part I don't want to be snapping. So what I'm gonna do is. Uh, not enable snapping here. I'm gonna push this above. And here, what I can do is to use this uh, Shift E at maximum for the. Hmm. Apparently, it's not working. Solid subdivision. Use creases. Yes. Why it's not respecting the crease? 
Chris is on. Maybe we need to... Yeah, it doesn't look correct. Okay, let's paint this face on another material just to be able to check what's going on here. Uh, of course, there's a subdivision happening there. But it's not doing exactly what I want. I expected that those crease would be stronger. So this is not good enough, but we can sort of I'll try to readjust that right. this again okay for so this subdivision seems to be too weak it's like it's as if I would need to make more sub oh I see I see I need to work with that perhaps with that other feature here to be able to to see what's really happening to the yeah the problem is that I I need to be watching the mesh to make the well not all the time maybe I can okay so maybe I can work with that so this part I can solve with texture uh, I may just have to give it another material, which I'm not sure uh, which one. Uh, the material is not really important. Alright, uh, because we can readjust that. This looks cool. Uh, then there's the idea of extrusion. Okay, uh, so I think this could be, instead of extrude, it's not snapping, just let's give it slightly some effect like that. Uh, same here, we could get a small mesh adjustment here. Where this would be like... Something like that, yeah, I think this can work. Something like that, let's get this slightly more. Okay, that I'm gonna snap, but not the other part. So this I can smooth out, smooth out a little, but all this face will be like outwards and this part would be inwards okay yeah this this looks good except this part I want to investigate what I need here okay so this is not working that Many things here are not working very well. Maybe I need some sort of... Okay, what happens if I take off these edge creases? First of all, I'm gonna take off clear sharp and negative one for edge crease. Okay, what's happening here? Okay, we have this thing which is not really doing what we want so here maybe one uh, this looks better let's 
let's compare well this doesn't seem to be doing nothing this is strange um, something strange happened there to the mesh maybe I did some mistake why this is it's not terrible actually this is interesting it's not exactly what I wanted but In it's interesting nonetheless but I wanted the inverse so not sure about that but let's give a another edge crease here whatever an interesting casual effect that happened here maybe we can explore this slightly more let's see yes this is usable I don't need I don't think I need to do this for all the surrounding it's more perhaps here that part doesn't seems too close let's move it more to the side here okay it doesn't need to be perfectly symmetrical the, that's is, that's good get that's uh, good enough maybe here just a little more outside all right this is looking good now here this is where I think I need some sort of more subdivisions to this part maybe just got some thing here and here oh I see where, where is it no no there there there's a quad here okay we're getting somewhere here um, okay what if you do this Oh, of course, this is the part where I might need the creases here. Let's give a maximum. Oh, yes, there we go. So we needed some sort of more subdivisions and with... <laughs> it's very strange to do this sometimes, but... Yeah, this is sort of the shape that I want and here probably we could uh, get in in face this too yeah would make sense and here what we got this is a uh, plain shape is that this is probably not accurate right so we need to move this out Alright, but overall that's what we wanted here. Uh, no, not that. This uh, doesn't need to go that way. Yes, maybe this I, I get below here same for this so I can perhaps smooth this out so there's some volume there yeah but this needs to be done in a very careful way the, at least the way I'm doing right folks mm. 
All right, this seems regular enough, uh, except this part here, we have already this inset thing, but I need to know how, how to get this topology here in a good shape. I think it would be that. And this is actually not very interesting, so... Maybe a small trigon here. And then this connects to here. Then we can give this perhaps an, another, even another material. Uh, I don't have much thing here to... I think I had some sort of, yeah, metal, but this is... Yeah, I think that's the only thing that I've got for... No, this is already being used, so... Okay, so this is just a, a variation, doesn't really matter right now, but... It even has wrong appearance here, same appearance, it doesn't really matter, so let's just change here for the preview, right? Okay, we'll, we'll adjust the shaders later anyways. It has a lot of texture, yeah, it has texture, so that's why I think it's appearing black right now, it's not, it, the mapping is wrong. Alright, this, this looks okay. Uh, finally, I think I've, I'm achieving the proper shapes that I wanted originally for this character design. So this is a much more accurate thing. So we're not caring much about the shaders. We're gonna readjust the textures. Uh, I'll see if I can reuse the texture maps that I have. I, I think I cannot. Yeah, uh, I'll probably have to remake that. I'm satisfied with the mesh, the, the geometry that I have here, as well as the topology. The mesh is cool enough, so I think this is usable. For this leather color here, maybe this is not really... It's some, perhaps something else would be best for this character. I'm not sure about... Yeah, this is... Uh, this leather is something too modern. I want something more sci fi ish like. And the problem is the colors for the character design. I didn't really choose very well, so this is something I'll have to. So for now, let's assume we can have. Where's the. I need the shader editor here, real quick. Uh, I'm gonna just replace one color here. Shader editor. Home. Yeah, here. So, we're gonna pick this and give it some sort of... This is using some sort of tune shading. That probably won't make much sense here. Yeah, we can play with that, maybe. Uh, 
Okay, let's skip the dead sort of blue here for now and there are a lot of uh, patterns here we can take from this it'll be textured anyway so I dare to keep some sort of low profile color for now And then here we can, yeah, adjust again. Uh, materials. So this cloth, like, let's give it leggings, uh, sleeves, whatever. Yeah, cloth. Just. Um, how the how does not plastic is like uh, tissue <laughs> whatever uh, synthetic yeah synthetic is good then metal and this will be like uh, crystal whatever. All right, uh, much better organization here. What is this kind of? Wow, what's that? Yeah, this is for a texture coordinate, right? So we're not gonna use this right now. Uh, just not for the moment. So here, what is? What is this principle? Oh, this was because of the metal shader, right? Yeah. So. Indeed, um, so what is this? Is not exactly the kind of base color that I would want for that. Some emerald color, teal color, I don't know. And uh, let's copy that and place it for here, um, not freestyle uh, viewport here, yeah, that's fine. And it gets too dark, probably because we don't have this factor here, it's the lighting rate. Yeah, this needs to mix with the texture which we don't have yet, so... And here, of course, this looks like that this are some subdivisions here which are not really respecting... Alright, so there are some strange indeed... This is not even metal, right? This is uh, incorrect. Um, maybe I need to do something like more subdivision. Let's play a little more with that. So this will be like synthetic. Then we get here, we can probably play a little with that, why not? Alright, alright, so it doesn't look great, but yeah, we were getting some detail here and I'm not still under, quite understanding why this why those shapes are behaving oh here let's also shift e on max thing here all right then here we um for this material here we are going to select linked uh, crystal yes this is another material here we will give some 
stronger color here. Um, Yeah, all right, all right. Um, let's see now if this... Oops. Shift F5. All right. Uh, okay, you see the shader is pretty bad, but we need... Uh, I want to see how the... It's pretty dark. I want to see when we have the text, we're gonna change everything. For the plane display viewport display it's it's kind of cool though uh, but it's not it's also that medical thing it's not what I want for that car mo character model sheet so with these developments here what I think I can do is to get um, the rigging part so what you're gonna do here we are going to Batch delete all groups. We're gonna reuse this on wave paint mode and we're gonna wave uh, transfer waves. Then we're gonna use vertex groups. Nearest face interpolated uh, by name and all layers and replace. That's it. Alright, so this is updated. Now if I get here the posing thing oh I need to be of course on pose you see that the deforms are following probably smooth smoothly that's good enough so all right so we've made we were successful in uh, you see some interpenetrations yeah, apparently there's some evil interpenetrations there. I didn't realize that, so... How is that happening? Probably something to do with the... Yeah, I just have to fix some stuff there. So in this case, maybe I just need to augment, I don't know, slightly. It's not certain that uh, just changing the... There are some leg spikes in the posing. Uh, I don't know what this is related to. But it's possible, it's just that... Oh, I, maybe it's the, it's the shading. All right. So yes, uh, many, a few interpenetrations there. Uh, we probably need to adjust some. Uh, probably need to check this armature, right? Try to visualize where those interpenetrations are. It's hard to track down. All right, so maybe in this part, so not snapping, we're just gonna try to augment a little the volume of the mesh. This is a bit dangerous, but Sometimes making these small tweaks here can solve most of those types of interpenetrations. It's clot rigging, so it's not like... I'm not really... There's minimal adjustments. All 
We can also take a tar. Loops and just slightly augment the their volume. We, you can pick even the entire. This will be like making more. Uh, how do you say more um, solidify, right? But it's not exactly the same thing. But it's equivalent. It's sort of equivalent. Let's see now. Okay, we see in the front now. There are still some lag spikes. I believe this is because of the streaming, folks. Alright, so the front is uh, having some issues also. Yeah, I see here why. So, Oh, this is dangerous to do the way I'm doing. So let's not do this okay so apparently this part is resilient <laughs> uh, I'm not sure why uh, Maybe some bones are not. Yeah, so this mesh here is not collaborating very well. It's as is the wave painting here is not suitable, but the mesh geometry is the same. It's it's bizarre. So there's something about the posing there, we can just try to exaggerate this. Yeah, this seems to have solved this, but it can create other problems. Yeah, okay, I'm having more problems than I thought for this thing, so even though I've used the regular method, I'm indeed having some challenging effects here for this um, let's give it even more of this I have already offset a lot and thickness a lot uh, let's hope that this time okay, I'm gonna save all right all right I'll keep doing this until we got this right right there would be, of course, another strategy would be that I, instead of making all this mesh, I just make some mesh here and the rest it's just texture painting, like from the, the body directly, because it's skin tight. So, I'm not sure why, I, why I'm not using this technique. Uh, I could have, for this technique, I could have uh, two to be a smart technique actually I could have to in that technique if that worked fine it would be great right I would basically have to not have but an interesting approach would be to have different UV maps so one UV map would be toggable UV map so for example one UV map would be for the skin original and the other UV map will be the skin plus the clothes. So not plus the clothes, but it will be like the the skin tight clothes will be uh, integrated with the skin already on the same UV map. So um, yeah, I'm not using this technique. Uh, then I could toggle just in case if I wanted. But yeah, for this approach yeah uh, I didn't plan for that uh, exactly so I can still use that for some other details on the skin maybe but for the clothes I think I'm gonna yeah for at least for what I'm doing right maybe I could do this for the hands I don't know um, some tattoos maybe 
I'm not sure, but we are evolving here uh, rapidly, so we're gonna do the same pattern here for the leggings. So I need to remember what this is. Okay, it's pretty standard. But it's not that simple. Let's see. Okay, um, let's use this um, rest position here. Um, if I get the character design though, um, yeah, I don't, uh, you see, it's not. It's sort of far from the... Yeah, somewhere like here, I guess. I can rotate this thing here. Then, yeah, we can delete these faces. We can probably... Yeah, let's already create this other here. We can... Now I want to mimic that other part, uh, so it would be something like that, this whole face would be like ex growth, it will go like here, we need to look this from various angles, that looks good, then make also some subdivision here and here. This doesn't need to be mathematically accurate, just precise enough. So it doesn't need to be exacting, I mean, like to match the other. Just some proportional thing. Here it's good already that we can start checking these materials here. Uh, same here, I don't need this, all these materials that are coming from the body. So instead, I'm gonna just reuse this. Uh, so we have a um, crystal, then we have a synthetic, then we have a metal. Okay, so the order is synthetic, metal, and crystal. So here, this will be. First, everything will be synthetic. Then we have here. Metal. Then I think this can be slightly extruded. Then what about this part? Um, Let's hide this. I need to try to understand how this works. Alright, this is just one extra face, the exterior one. Alright, so now there's no face loop here, it's just directly one of these faces start to be subdivided gradually. I leave it like that so I can look at it later so it's just this face loop here it gets inset and then I start to get worked in some towards the crystal I don't need to reproduce exactly the same path uh, yeah the pattern yes it will be good but not not the same mesh topology I can do something slightly different so here um, the the way I'm doing this is the top of the arm is really here so I probably want to hide everything for for the body uh, we don't need to look anything like that uh, yeah just want the sleeves
all right here this is all I need for now um, so it will be probably this face here on the top so this is the face that I'm gonna inset for the crystal pattern and so um, yeah usually this is like this like this then I think here we get some sort of subdivision yeah we can also already do this this will be fine uh, here we want to I want to make this uh, Thing. and here uh, how do you say yes I remember there was a triangle trigon here and uh, here how was it yeah this thing like here a diamond quad and then yes for the sides I also wanted something like that, that, and that. No, uh, actually, this is not accurate. Hold on, let's see. Okay, so here would be like in the middle, yes. No, they go to the sides, and one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we have six here. That's Maybe that's fine. That's one. Uh, this was not a region that was getting critical, although this is not precisely one, two, three. Yeah, all right. So this part is like a bit messy. I could make subdivision here instead, but that that seems to be fine. It's a quad. This is a triangle. Okay. Yeah. So I could. Instead of doing this, well, we could actually dissolve this and make just some... Maybe this is more regular, so... Let's do this improvement here. Let's just move this slightly like that, alright. Let's restart our, um, our synthwave here. And... Let's go back to the sleeves. Uh, we see that uh, we need some more um, crease here. Ah, here maybe I'm not having the good subdivisions. And why the solidify modifier is before? Subdivision solidify after. Hmm. Maybe this makes a difference in the... Usually it's after for avoiding interpenetrations I think it's better so but here I'm having a problem with this uh, creases yes I'm using creases level okay these settings this is similar to the other uh, okay let's move this out and try to get these shapes uh, slightly better maybe with proportional editing it's very important gets uh, the triangular shape here so it was not very accurate before There's some tilting here in the mesh, so this is because of the arm. Maybe I can make some slight adjustments to this. Uh, this won't be like critical to the rig because I can. This is cloth, so it's not like it doesn't need to match exactly 
although it's skin tight, uh, these small adjustments are not uh, detrimental. Sometimes, depend, depends on the project, right? But usually it's okay to play, at least in my experience, there's no need to be too careful about this. We need sometimes to do this anyways to avoid interpenetrations. So just augmenting a little the volume here and at the same time getting better shapes for what would be the clothes, this should be adequate. Here maybe this part could be, there's a whole face loop here that we could also perhaps reorganize in different ways, but this seems to be fine right now. Um, so I didn't finish here, we want this subdivision indeed. And here we going to, yeah, let's already do this, here and here. I feel like I'm lacking a structure here. Yeah, because this is the crystal mesh, the crystal part, but there's something else. There's a metallic part are all around it, so I think I'm missing the mesh that will do it, because the crystal don't, don't go immediately, it is surrounded by this metallic material. You see that there's all uh, surrounding stuff here. Alright, so I missed one layer of faces, so it's one, two, one, two, one, two, and this is a, this is a quad, all right, the, so, yeah, I missed one inset, all right, all right, so one little inset here, that should be fine, except that I cannot do this now from the inside, right, um, I need to do this from perhaps, yeah, I need to make just this, a subdivision here, and here maybe I need to, Alright, so I think this will be the metal part, and uh, yes, uh, it could be bigger towards uh, both directions. I'm using, I'm still using proportional editing. Yeah, it could be a bit fancier here too, giving different proportions, could be nice. Uh, here, this mesh is too much, it's uh, enveloping the crystal, uh, the accessory, so let's push this out, still looking weird, uh, let's try to... Yeah, something... Oh, maybe, yeah, this is just because of the crease, I think. No? Okay, so this is uh, strange. I'll do whatever is required to solve this thing, but... So let's try to... I didn't have this particular problem on the leggings, so I don't know what this is related to. Maybe some weird wave painting aspect. Well, we're getting it. 
Maybe it's the metal part is just too too small in relation to on that region here, so okay now let's push this all right that's that's acceptable um, yeah the the this thing requires the crystal requires also the metal they need to protrude in relation to the skin tight mesh so this is something like that and the crystal also could go even more all right now there's some irregular patterns there um, would be easier if we just looked with this maybe yeah this could be a good way to start work to continue working on this mesh right now and also proportional editing should help a lot in this case so we're looking here at the final shapes sort of so it's okay to be able to mess with this stuff a little all right so that's seems to be looking fine although I'm not really satisfied that it's going so close to the elbow here maybe uh, according to the model sheet let's see yeah um, well it actually went quite close right but and it was much larger oh yeah larger larger character design okay this is a good idea let's um, reconsider that uh, yeah now we have a problem with the proportional editing so larger crystal here could be interesting so if I could yeah this will be troublematic for for this part We need to reorganize better this mesh here, but this can work if it just allows us to get this expansion here and maybe here too. So, with this redistribution. Uh, now it seems like there's l we're losing some volume here overall so let's just expand here and smooth that looks good but I see some issues there looks like there's some bizarre interpreters here I'm not liking what I see here yeah again I there's this problem there maybe it's this mesh is going crazy yeah uh, so here I really unfortunately this is very bizarre what's happening here uh, maybe I need to reassess all this smooth this out let's pick this and this and let's try to work this way uh, 
Yeah, I know I have been facing this for a while already. It just doesn't want to collaborate. So that part here, all the surrounding goes inside. And this should, yeah, we could try to do the opposite, so something like that, although, yeah. It's like it's, it really wants to, seems like I had some sort of, oh, maybe it's the solidify stuff. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it was the... Okay, okay, because it, the it thickness, it, it gets thicker on both directions. Yeah, that's why. Outside, so it grows and we start, start losing this. Yeah, but the thickness is important for avoiding interpenetration, so... But maybe for the sleeves it will be easier. So, okay, I need to maintain this at one. And overall, that's look, that, yeah, okay, that, that is looking good, but I want to improve these uh, shapes here. Uh, shapes are horrible here. Here too, they don't seem very nice. Oh, I see, this is the diagonal. I see what's happening. Yeah, all this... This is not respecting this kind of shape that I want here. I'm, I need proportional editing, let's move all these faces like here. So there are all these... Yeah, okay, so... We need to exaggerate this diagonal here. Otherwise, it's impossible to have the the character design from the mesh geometry. So this part from the top of the sleeves is looking all right, but then the part from the other, okay, so you have this pattern here. All right, so this can go slightly more here and that's it. That should be it. And then the crystal also we can also bring this slightly more to the proportional editing. Yes, we bring this more like here. We can get it more. Yeah, can give this shape here. And this, why not? Let's bring it reorganized slightly more so it's more regular. That's fine. Good. Now, um, let's address the... Yeah, the batch delete all groups. Hide... Um, yeah, we want the body. 
this this wave paint mode then we go on we are uh, we are on the for the armature objects is in rest position so we're transferring waves from the rest position not re uh, not pose position so we're making sure that everything is uh, I've already used the operator so that's why by name it's already set correctly just as nearest face interpolated uh, this should do so now I have all the wave paint from the body and this seems to be I believe this is correct now if I if we try attempt some posing here uh, where is the oh yeah of course pose position okay let's look for the yeah we need to look for the interpenetrations Of course, uh, yeah, this mode of color shading, <laughs> it's cool, but uh, graphically it's great, it's cool, but it's not, of course, what uh, what I need. But it, it can help looking, yeah, so, sort of helps looking at the, the interpenetrations uh, of the sleeves, we can actually see. Okay, so that part's inner part has got some. Um, all right. Okay, so inner part of the like near the biceps, but closer to the joint. Then near the triceps but also closer to the joint for some reason yeah probably this is the mesh that i was changing all the rest seems to be okay i see what i need to improve that uh so uh let's just reset all that hide here and let's yeah actually let's hide this thing uh yeah annoying all that hide everything except for the clots but then um, all right all right so here we need to uh, also let's hide the hair there we go so this part was wrong we need to improve that there were a lot of interpenetrations going on here. Oh, I see. Maybe this needs to be slightly more. We reduce the the amount of and for the triceps also. The triceps region is here, closer to the elbow. So, yeah. Probably this was responsible. We could use some more subdivisions here, right, folks? Yeah, but let's just make some changes here. That should do. Um, Let's go back on the armature pose mode. Let's see. We still got those interpenetrations there for the biceps region. No, that's fine. And for the triceps region. Yeah, maybe there's always resilient. 
interpenetrations that will appear eventually the bones are in the place in, in top right not helping to visualize everything but that's uh, that's okay so in principle this is much better so we've already s solved not the UV texture folks but the mesh and re-rigging of uh, two pieces of clothes and the new experience that I had for these uh, portions helped me to get better solution for the simpler solution right for mesh topology and mesh geometry of the crystal thing so even though the material the shader and the texture needs reassessment but we are getting closer to to the the thing so now i think this is enough for this live stream folks uh basically i'm streaming for yeah one hour and a half so what um okay so this was solved then we have yeah this the panties could also be they could actually be instead of yeah because this region is the crotch region and all that it's very complicated in terms of uh joint area is also the hips region so uh maybe this could be skin tight related to the yeah i'm very inclined to make just as this like a texture map right this, this character is not supposed to be nude anyway so uh um this might be a smart solution actually and there are ways to make the texture with some bump map i don't know some stuff that will yeah something that i don't really know so maybe i can just ignore this uh underwear clothes yes let's get simplified first time so i i'll we'll try to use that technique starting from the underwear so not used on the skin tight leggings and sleeves but uh under the wear yeah we could use for also bra and panties that's right so uh because at least panties she'll require because this character has a skirt which uh we need to reassess too so the belt the skirt and uh spalders here this kind of things gloves all right so you have to remake this yeah this i cannot remake right now i need to reassess the the fingers the hand mesh the geometry not the topology so this is uh a bit more this will require a bit more uh, old rework so this is annoying but could be the next thing but boots yeah actually boots is something that is good to revise from the character design yeah the base of the boots i think is correct but that part on the top i probably want to revise it's very this is very crude anyway so yeah the base the base of the boots are are good though i think but the other part i want to reassess all right folks so and there's a shirt also needs some some rework it's too simplistic everything is too simple and then there's a cloak that we need to readdress the belt is is workable the way it is but i need to uh, to just readjust uh, the wave painting and sort of things uh yeah the boots are deforming with older system yeah and so that's it folks uh hope you could get some uh, inspiration ideas from that and uh we'll be back tomorrow for more uh, of this clothing I, I see whatever i can improve in this in the way like for the hands so i we can con con uh, continue developing this these accessories these clothes in a smoother way 
thanks for watching folks and uh, take care see you soon happy blending